I'm Eric Brothers. I'm a senior editor with GIE Media's manufacturing publications, aerospace manufacturing and design, today's motor vehicles, and today's medical developments. I'm privileged here to uh, speak with Matt Dye, president of Minutoyo America Corporation. Matt, uh, how's the show going for you so far? It's been a very busy show so far. We're, uh, we're having a lot of good interactions with customers, and uh, we have a great booth this year. That's great. What are you seeing in the industry today, uh, in general? Well, we're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of urgency all of a sudden for some uh, some innovation and some new products. So we have a lot of people coming here with uh, immediate needs, and uh, they're able to check out the latest in technology for uh, metrology and measuring instruments. So where where do you provide the solution for those? Uh, challenges. Well, that's a that's a great question. You know, solutions has been a, a, a key part of our business, uh, Eric. Actually, we uh, we have nine solution centers around the United States uh, where customers can come and interact with the tools and with some of our engineering staff. And uh, here at the show, we're showing uh, quite a bit of new technology in terms of uh, CMM technology for five-axis scanning, things that increase throughput and uh, be able to solve some of the core problems of, of uh, keeping up with increased demand. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about the growth of the company? I understand you've uh, seen some expansion here recently. We have, we have. In fact, uh, uh, I would say uh, over the last seven years, we have been uh, uh, redeveloping and growing our presence in, in various aspects of the country. So we now have nine solution centers, and uh, this has been a, an initiative over the past seven years, really, uh, to become more regionally based and more local to the uh, key markets. and. Uh, uh, we think that uh, a large part of what the customers need is, is a solution, not just a product, but uh, they need to know how to apply it, how to use it. So we're providing a lot of engineering uh, solutions guidance, whether it's through programming or automation, part handling, fixturing, uh, but also we're providing a lot of education. So Mitotoyo uh, around, around the world has an initiative of the Mitotoyo Institute of Metrology, and uh, we do it here. Uh, by offering uh, specific metrology courses. So uh, we see the future as solutions and education. Right. And you can find that information on where, where to find the centers on your website, I'm guessing? Mitatoya.com, absolutely. All right. Um, I also understand you've been investing a lot in uh, people. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Certainly. As well as well, the facilities? We've been, uh, we've been very fortunate in our 55 years here in the United States. Uh, we have grown a tremendous staff that's capable of solving metrology uh, questions and problems around the, around the country. And uh, we partner with employees worldwide, uh, based in Japan and around the world, to be able to solve a lot of the issues that we're facing. So here in the U.S., we're growing in engineering and solutions capability, but also an important part of it is we're growing in our ability to serve the customer and the products that they have and again, also in that education sector. So uh, we're growing and uh, we're continually uh, planning for more growth uh, in the years to come. Thanks. One of the big themes here at the show seems to be automation and robotics. Can you tell me a little bit about Mitotoyo's uh, initiatives on that? I see a lot of measurement devices being included right in the process. Absolutely. Well, you know, the shift uh, started uh, several years ago where uh, People wanted inspection and quality control and process control out on the shop floor. So we're providing today a lot of solutions that in integrate directly into the lines or near line. And it means sometimes we have to have uh, automation for part movement, load, unload. But we're also seeing robots play an important role in the measurement itself. So uh, uh, I think the future will bring a lot of onboard sensor technology and so forth on, uh, on robots and inline systems. Appreciate that. Uh, what about uh, data? Big data, data analysis, it's all coming into to play. Sure, sure. Well, data is certainly a, a hot topic these days. And, uh, you know, I think as the, uh, as the conversation of Industry 4.0 and IoT becomes uh, uh, to an implementation stage, that data will play an important part of making decisions. So our gauges collect data. Our sensors are collecting lots of points. And how do we use that to, to improve the process? So here in the United States, uh, we produce a software called MeasureLink, which is our SPC and also data uh, management software. So how do we control and do something positive with all that data? And uh, through our MeasureLink software, we can provide important information for decision-making to the operator, to 
to engineering, to management, or to the machine tool itself. So we're able to provide logic back to the, to the process. That's great, that seems to be quite a growing trend and uh, interchange of data. That's right. So, uh, to change the topic a little bit, I understand uh, you're involved with the Institute of Certification. Can you tell me a little bit more about that program? Well, we have, yeah, our, our Mitutoy Institute of Metrology is a program that um, many companies are coming to train their employees. Uh, we're teaching the basics of uh, dimensional gauge use to uh, measurement uncertainty, calculating the error of using a particular gauge. Uh, also, uh, to important topics like uh, repair and calibration and also geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. So we teach uh, these programs through our Institute of Metrology, uh, based here in Aurora and also at our nine centers around the country. Okay. There's a lot of concern with the aging of uh, machinists and where are the next uh, generation of manufacturers coming from. What sort of uh, efforts are you undertaking to uh, advocate for a career in manufacturing? Well, I, I think there's a wonderful career opportunity in manufacturing. I think uh, today uh, the new generation is bringing some uh, wonderful skill, whether it's uh, uh, design, CAD CAM technology, or uh, certainly automation and integration. And I think this uh, connectivity of machines and equipment will be uh, largely uh, brought on by this generation who is uh, uh, growing up with electronics uh, in a large part of their life, right? Sure. So we're adapting our tools as well. So we have, for example, in our small tool area, we continue to develop technology for wireless communications and being able to transfer data. And uh, this, is, uh, this is how the ne next generation will operate, I believe. All right. One of your themes, or the theme for this show, is trusted from end to end. Could you explain what that means a little bit? Sure, well, there's a lot more to it than just providing products. So uh, we, uh, we are a manufacturer uh, with the vast majority of our product made in Japan. Uh, we control the process and the quality of our product from the foundry all the way through. So we have a, a, a casting facility in Japan. Where we're making a lot of the uh, frames for our products. We're a materials company where we're producing a lot of the precision straight edges, the glass scales. So from the very core of measurement, we control the quality of the product that's being uh, assembled into the final gauge. In addition, uh, we also believe that in addition to providing the product, we have to provide the full solution. So delivering, delivering the tool is one part, but integrating it into the process. So I come back to the solutions part of our business and how that's really growing. Uh, it helps customers implement the gauge and achieve what they're after. So uh, from controlling the beginning of the quality of manufacturing to implementing the tool, whether it be in an aerospace facility or an automotive plant or in some, uh, some other high-tech sector, uh, we have the capability in both equipment, process, and people to be able to achieve uh, the, the best standard in the business. Okay, well thank you very much for those uh, insights and the Minitoyo's uh, role in industry and uh, the future of manufacturing. You bet, thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. All thank right, you. thank you.